is Apple still innovating? Uh, that's that's a tough question to answer. And uh, my short answer right now is I'm going to wait until 2017 to see what Apple has done. It hasn't been that big of a year for Apple in 2016. I mean, I think their biggest innovation this year was uh, adding a second camera lens to an iPhone and taking out the headphone jack, which took uh, which took a lot of courage. And uh, if you ask me right now, has Apple innovated in 2016? Uh, I don't think so. I think uh, one of their better products was the AirPods, uh, but a product like that has existed before. If we go to our Mac line, uh, the only update we got this year was the Touch Bar. And let's face it, it doesn't seem that convenient for me. Uh, the reviews I've read, they say that it's a lot faster just to move your trackpad, take your trackpad and move your cursor and go do something rather than actually uh, taking your eyes off your screen, looking at a secondary screen and then doing that task. So I think Apple is just doing that to make it look like the MacBook is still relevant and I don't actually think uh, that the touch bar uh, is useful at all. Uh, the MacBook Air, I don't think it's going to be around much longer. I mean, I don't think it has a place in line uh, with the lineup with the new MacBook. So absolutely no innovation there. The iPad, uh, I don't think there has been much evolution of the iPad uh, since Apple introduced the iPad Air. I mean, when we went from the iPad 4 to the iPad Air, that was a good step up. It was thinner, it was faster, it had uh, a better new design. But now, the iPad Pro, it looks like an iPad Air 2. Uh, you get a slightly better screen, uh, slightly faster processor, and uh, stereo speakers. So again, no real innovation. There's nothing new that makes you want to buy uh, this iPad. Uh, the Apple Pencil, it's a $100 piece of plastic that lets you draw on the screen. Uh, I talked about iPhone already. The Apple Watch, it is cool that it's waterproof, but again, there's no major feature on this watch that made you want uh, to buy it this year. The Apple TV, uh, we haven't seen an update for this in a while. And uh, yeah, Siri is on your remote, that's pretty cool. Uh, the remote no longer has to be pointing at the Apple TV because it uses Bluetooth. That's pretty cool. The new TV app that now implements with iOS, that's that's pretty cool and it works with your Apple TV also. But no real innovation uh, here with the Apple TV. Still a cool product though. So I went through all these product lines and you may be asking, Michael, what the hell is this video about? Did you just turn on your computer and just start recording this random video? And the short answer is uh, kind of uh, the idea popped into my mind. Has Apple been innovating? And I just wanted to speak off the top of my head and tell you what I honestly thought of 2016. Uh, Apple hasn't really been updating anything new or uh, bringing anything new to the market. Uh, when you think back to, uh, for example, even the iPhone 4, if you look at how, how much of an upgrade that was from the previous generation, uh, the world was astounded by the beautiful design, uh, the upgraded camera, the new screen, uh, just the new features, the faster processor, everything in that phone uh, was a fantastic upgrade. They introduced a new product uh, a couple years ago now, the Apple Watch. Uh, like I said, when they, when they updated the iMac to that very, very thin edge with the uh, almost a couple of millimeters thin uh, on the IMAX edge. That was, to me, it seemed like that was a good, uh, that was a good innovation because the Mac definitely looks like it's uh, a lot more streamlined now. We haven't had an update to pretty much any of the products in a substantial way recently and uh, 2017 I'm hoping to be better. There's been rumors that are saying that the iPhone 8 may not be ready and we might have an iPhone 7s this year. So if the plans for the iPhone 8 uh, do fall through, then the iPhone 7S will be a thing. So let's cross our fingers that uh, we have some innovation this year in 2017 with the iPhone 8. And uh, let's get rid of the S naming system for the iPhone. That would be that would be some innovation right there. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you agree with what I said or comment if I'm completely losing it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.